American businessman Donald Trump is one step closer to securing the Republican Party nomination for the White House. Trump easily won a caucus of party members in the U.S. state of Nevada, capturing more than 45 percent of the vote. It is his third win in a row, and it comes just a week before more than a dozen states take part in the crucial Super Tuesday primaries. CCTV's Rory Ruttenberg has more. It was a clearly decisive win for a clearly divisive man. Donald Trump is as loathed by his critics as he is loved by his supporters. Nevada proved no different. We won with young, we won with old, we won with highly educated, we won with poorly educated, I love the poorly educated. We're the smartest people, we're the most loyal people. And you know what I really am happy about, because I've been saying it for a long time, 46% with the Hispanics, 46%, number one with Hispanics. That's despite Trump's rather tough talk on immigration, or perhaps because of it. Polls showed Trump's Hispanic backers are politically conservative Latinos, many of whom came to the U.S. legally, and when asked, often say they resent those who have done so otherwise. Trump was able to also secure the largely anti-establishment vote. Exit polls from Tuesday showed that nearly 6 in 10 Republicans in Nevada are, quote, angry at the federal government, and Trump won the support of half of them. This in a state that is geographically far from Washington, but that's land is largely owned by the federal government. Trump, they believe, will stand up for their rights as Nevadans and as Americans. At an evangelical Christian university in Virginia on Wednesday, Trump reiterated his mantra of defending the U.S. militarily and economically. And when asked about China, Trump said Beijing is, quote, robbing Washington. And we have a lot of power over China. We just don't know it. We have people that don't know it. The power is straight. We've rebuilt them. They are taking so much money out of our country. Not so, says Nevada's former lieutenant governor. In an interview with Bloomberg News, Republican Brian Krolicki said, quote, the Chinese bashing political rhetoric has less validity in Nevada than it does in other states. That's because in recent years, Chinese investment, trade and tourism is largely credited with actually helping Nevada recover from one of the worst economic declines in the country. China is now backing a massive auto plant project in the state worth one billion dollars. In Beijing on Wednesday, the foreign ministry's spokesperson was asked if China is concerned by Trump's momentum and his apparent anti-China rhetoric. She wouldn't comment specifically about Trump the candidate, but said she hoped and believed the U.S. government would continue to pursue a positive China policy. In Nevada, Trump got roughly the same number of votes as his most serious challengers combined. All of this gives the real estate mogul turned unpolished politician extra momentum going into Super Tuesday next week and if he gets his way all the way to the Republican Party's convention as the party's nominee. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington.